Kumala and Ablak Gemara. This is the Gemara for Sunday, the second day, Yom Tif. Daf Mem Aleph Omid Aleph. The Mishnah. Achelitz Liyavemtai. If somebody gives chalitza to his sister-in-law, so Reuven died and he left behind the wife. And now Shimon goes along and gives her chalitza. And then his brother came along, Levi, and married that sister. He's a lot of married, not his chalitza, Shimon's chalitza. So Levi can marry her, the sister of Leah Rachel, the mason. Then Levi dies. So now the only brother left is Shimon. And Shimon already gave chalitza. And we said before, his chalitza is awesome to Rabbanah. Is what should she do? The wife of Levi, she, she doesn't. She can't. She can't marry Shimon because she's the sister of a chalutza. But she doesn't go scot free because Mahatayda. She's still chayiv and yibum. So therefore, you give chalutza. Chain likewise, Hamagadash is ishtai. If somebody divorces his wife, the nasa achi besachaisa, and the brother Shimon, let's say Ruben divorces his wife, and Shimon married her sister, which is not an issue. But then the mace. Then Shimon dies, and now Reuben has to marry her, but now how totally he can marry her because it's a choy's grushosay. So then had Egypt to she's totally potter, doesn't even require chalitza because now totally he can't marry. Her. What about Shemeres Yavam? Reuben died and left behind a wife, and she is now waiting to marry, uh, let's say, uh, Shimon. Shekidish, Achiv, as a and came along Levi and Ms. Mekadish after she became available to Shimon and to Levi, and she, she's now a skuka. Levi went ahead and decided to propose and give Kedushin to Rachel, the sister. And since Midrash Bonan, this is called Achos Kukose, and he did it after she became available. Mushabir said, Omru, I mean, we tell Levi, Hampton, wait, Achiyasa, Hicha, Maisa, wait till Shimon either marries her so she's no longer a Zakuk to you, or she gives, he gives her Chalitza again, she's no longer a Zakuk to you. Severs all ties. Cholaks la Achiv, what happened? Shimon gave her Chalitza. So Shimon decided, instead of marrying her, so Levi went ahead and gave condition to uh, Rachel. Leia's sister, and uh, Reuven died left behind Leia. Shimon, and he did that after Reuven died, and after she became well. Then she went and gave chalutza, uh, chalutza to this woman. And cholas l'achi um, Then Yichazishu, they had no problem marrying his wife, because she no longer has any ties, no longer chalutza, no longer a zakuk. What about Mesa Hayavam? Um, let's say he married her. Um, Let's say Shimon married her, the brother married her, and he is engaged, and Levi is engaged to the sister. What happens now? And he can't, he can't continue living with his wife that he got engaged to because she's a sister of his Zokuk. But nor can he go ahead and live with the Zokuk because it's the sister of his one who is in Makudish. So therefore, Yichnei says, Ishtai, yeah. Sorry, Macy, if, the, if she died, if the woman died, there's no problem. You can marry his wife. What about Macy? Um, the brother died. Then, in that case, is Yaitse, and he's only one brother lately, and he gave pollution to the sister. Is Yaitse, says you cannot live with his, his own wife because she's a sister of a Zakuk. He has to give her a get. But the Aisha's Achil, nor can he marry his brother's wife, um, he has to give her Chalitza. Why? Because after you gave a get to your wife, she's now the sister of your divorcee. And you cannot marry the sister of your divorcee. So you want to marry the chain. You're telling me that Grusha is the same thing as if she's a chalutza, but it's not the same thing. By chalutza, you have to get these give um, chalitza. Masha Enke, in the case of, you know, if you, if the, um, what do you call it? If you gave chalitza to your mom and the brother married the sister and then he died, so then we said you give chalitza because she's the sister of a chalitza, so um, so that he cannot marry. But on the other hand, Mahatayi is Mahatayi is sister chalitza is not a problem, so therefore you give chalitza. But Shegan in Gerusha, if it's uh, if you divorce the wife and then a sister comes into you, the sister of Gerusha Mahatayi you can't, so she's part of completely. It's not the chain. Ain't no say Abba Magadish. You're right. Abba, don't say and so, but say but. The contrast is different. I'm going to just look at the contrast. Let me make a comment here. Achoy is grusha medivetayt. You know, I marry the sister of your divorcee. Mahatayda, but Achoy is chalutza medivetayt. You know, I marry the sister of your chalutza. That's why I'm the rabban. Shem edes yom shikidish. I'm Ashmol. Ashmol. The halacha is like the rabbi Yehuda that we tell the brother you just got engaged after Reuven died and you had to marry uh, Reuven's wife. Are you a zokut or at least? So now you have to wait until Shimon does whatever he has to do, and then you're free to marry. Says Rabbi Yehuda. Says the halacha like the rabbi Yehuda said. We ask a question. Mesa Ishtai, what happens if his wife dies, lady's wife dies? Mao be 
Now, now that his wife died, so the obstacle of uh, the sister of Yuzokuk is gone, does she now become mutter again? Uh, the Zokuk that he can marry now the sister, Leia Rochel. So now he, he got engaged to Rochel after Reuben died, and Leia was available to him. So we say he can't go ahead, he don't proceed with uh, Rochel. But now that Rochel died, can he go back to Leia? Because she was forbidden for a time, but now she's permitted. If his wife died, now Leia becomes permitted again. They can no longer marry her. Since she was Asa for a time, they can no longer marry her. My time, was We shouldn't have a Yivama, the high Yivama Shahutra. This Yivama was when Reuven passed away, Leva could have married her. And then Vanessa, and then when you go in and propose to lay your sister Rachel, she's no longer she's forbidden to you now. Then the Chaz of and then the Rachel died, now she's permitted again. Tachzala Tedar Rishayna. He says he goes, reverts back to the original Hetan because it started out Hetan, even though it became also middle, it goes back. Master Rabbi Amnuna, when has a question learned? Then previously, Gimalachi, there were three brothers, Ruben Shimon Levi, and Beis Nesuim, Beis Achoy, Ruben Shimon married to Leon Rochel, the Echad Mufna, and the third brother, and the third was a Bachar, was a bachelor. Mace Echad Balachoy, let's say Ruben died and left behind Leia, but also when Maima came along Leia, came along Levi, because now he's the only one who can marry her. Shimon obviously can't marry his only Levi, and he gave her, instead of just marrying her, he gave her a Maimer, which is only Midrabon. Not like the Shama who says that it's Kenya Gummer. But yeah, afterwards, Mace Achivashani. Now Shima died, so they're both available to you, but one of them you gave Kedushin to. What happens now? So one, you can't marry either one because each one is a Chais Kukasai, and plus one of them is a Chais, you like almost your wife. You, you, were, I mean, you, were, you gave a Kedushin. But then what happened was that ladies that Rachel died, Shima died, and then his own wife, Levi's wife, died. So now Reuven's wife became permitted again, no longer a sister of his, of his wife, because she's gone. She can no longer marry him. The question is, my wife, why do we say that she was permitted and forbidden and then permitted again, and she therefore she'd be able to marry Levi? Ishtik, he didn't have what to answer. The boss of the Nova, after he went out, somebody said, I should have answered him that Rabbi Lozzi. I should have answered him. This follows actually the opinion of Rabbi Lozzi. The Omer says, in the case where uh, Reuven was married, then he divorced her. Then he took his wife back. And while um, and, um, and while he was married to her, um, what do you call it? And when she, she was divorced, none of the brothers could have married her. So there's an Issa first. And then afterwards, um, he died, became a, and so now she's a Yivam. Um, and Abu Lodah says, Tanakam Agi, Abu Lodah says, Kimish Ambul of Shahabisa, since she was Asa before she, uh, Reuven died, because she was the Gurusha of Reuven. You know, marry the divorced wife of your brother, is Nessa, all of them becomes Asa. See, the word doesn't, doesn't come back to Heter. So therefore, it follows Abu Lodah. So Abu Lodah is, is the view of that Bryce, no problem. So those brides that you find that it says that if you're usher, even your mutter and usher, it doesn't revert back, goes Rabbalaz. But then he said, no, there's a good reason why I didn't answer Rabbalaz, because Aim Madam Rabbalaz was Rabbalaz's opinion, April Khazi was a fila. She she was not suitable at the time when Reuben died. She was no longer she was not suitable to any of the brothers because she was already the divorcee of his wife. I will the Khazi Bishaz the fila, but where she was um, suitable. And she was zero, like in our case. When Reuben died, she could have married Levi. It's only because Levi afterwards went ahead and, and gave Kedushin to, um, to Rachel, um, the Amma, who said in such a case, he holds that it doesn't work. Since it was Mutter, and then I said, maybe it's different. The, his case, it was also from the beginning. And then became Mutter, doesn't work. But if it's Mutter, then I said, maybe it does revert back afterwards to the head. Hadar um, in, yes. I believe, in fact, Rabbi Lozov holds no difference, even in the case was Mutter from the beginning. Rabbi Lozov holds it remains also. Because at the time, Rabbi Lozov, Rabbi Lozov says, Mesa Yevemtoi, Allah says, if it's Yevam, um, if, um, let's say, if you're Makadish, the sister of your Yevam, right? So Ruben was married to Levi, and then you went ahead, so Ruben to Leia, and then you went ahead, and you gave Kedushin to, uh, to, um, to uh, Rachel, the sister of your Yevam, um, so she was also from the beginning. But if uh, she was us from the beginning, that what you couldn't live with them because she was uh, your, your wife that you want to marry is a chais kukasai. Yet muta if the yevamta the sister law dies now you muta to your wife. Makes each if your wife dies is oisi yevamu chalitza v'loy mesiabemis that yevamu gives chalitza cannot make yibam even though she was permitted from the beginning, and then she became asa. Yet Rabbi Lavol still remains asa. 
So lema, so we see that what? That even if from the beginning it remains, and it then becomes us, it remains us. That's Rabbi view. So the Gemara, lema, Shmuel, Rabbi Asi, Rabbi Rabbi let's say that Shmuel, Rabbi Asi, that says that remains us, they follow Rabbi Loza. That says that once it's us, it remains us forever. I, I can tell you that Rabbi Shmuel hold like Rabban Akka, like coming Rabban Ola Rabban Loza. When do they argue the case of the divorce? Yelam Bishul Dimnut Vila Ve'elech Le Mitzvah Ayum. That what? That um, after, um, if let's say, divorced his wife and then took her back, from after um, the Reuben died, there was no other further Easter. So um, now the fact that she, that he divorced his wife is irrelevant right now. Now it says once he married her back to her brother, was a brother, the Easter was Aisha's Och, and then when he died, she's a Um The problem with him was happened before the Nefil, but Shas Nefil was Mutter. If Rabban say. That the, when he when he died in the midst of him came in, all these sort of fell off. Avil hachol here the itze, but over here became also afterwards. Is then maybe after the rabban made the rabban la made that it did not become mutter again, which is like Shmuel's opinion. So no raya either way. Next Mishnah, when we say yibum, he has a mitz, yibum has a mitz of getting married. We don't want to get married straight away. We want to give a three month break so that we can determine the child is a child whose child it is. At this stage, we don't know if she's pregnant or not. So therefore, uh, let's wait, pause for three months and wait to see what happens. And we're going to say that even in cases where definitely they had no relation, so there's no reason to assume that um, even with the first house, it's definitely that she's not pregnant, it doesn't matter. Once you make a lisa, it, it, it's universal. Saying about Ayyavamba, Lay Sachlet, Ayyavamba should not give Chalitza nor to this Yab or get married at Jesus Shachalosh until three months uh, um, go by. Again, likewise, Koshar and Oshim, in fact, all women, Loyis Arsu, any woman who's married to one man should not get engaged to another man. Now, even though when you get engaged to another man, you're not having any relations, what's the problem? When we kick Zeta, once we ask it, we ask it everything. The people that are confused, they're you know, confused, they don't know, and you know, I'll get engaged, and I'll get married, too confused. But you know, so shouldn't get married, actually, we shouldn't get married until they have three months between them. Whether she's a virgin, whether she's not a virgin, whether she's divorced, whether she's a widow. Our examples of all the Gemara will say why we have to spell it out. Whether they were married, for the first man, but Echlis, even though we're only engaged to the first person, nevertheless, in all of these cases, we ban anyone from getting remarried within three months. Come along, Rebina says, no, let's make a distinction. Han is that they were married, it's ours, they're allowed to get engaged, because what's the big deal? Nothing is going to happen, there's no child there, no, there's no union. But Arus is, and if she was only merely engaged to the first husband, Yenasa, she can actually consummate a marriage because there's no question that she did not fall pregnant for the first husband. Except in Arus, she be used, except in Yehuda and Leibig Aspen, in Yehuda, they encourage the, the callous and the silence to become a little bit intimate with each other. And sometimes they'll go further than just a little bit intimate because they were so shy and they wanted to become more, you know, accustomed to uh, getting married. Abyeisi says, Kol Arsu. I agree with you that any woman can go ahead and get engaged. Chutz minal man, except a widow, the pnei evil. A widow should actually wait thirty days. Nothing to do with determining if she uh, has a child or not. Is because of availus, she needs for her husband. Um, a wife has to have availus for her husband over a three month, over thirty day period. Says the Gemara. I understand why you say that the sister in law should not get married. Shemir Yavla ben Kayama. Because it could be, it'll turn out to be she has a child. If she has a child, then there's no mitzvah of Yibum, and you're living with your husband, your brother's wife. The Kabbalah be says, "Age of the Rishon." There's an Easter, you're infringing an Easter in the Torah. Ella leisachloit. You tell me you shouldn't give chalitza. Am um, I why? Lema, let us say to have it to you to Rabbi Yechon. You tell me that what? You tell me also not only getting married, also by chalitza you have to wait three months. Why do you have to wait three months? It seems you're waiting three months because maybe she'll fall pregnant. And the chalitza that you gave is uh, was not a valid chalitza. We had an argument of Yechon and Shlokya. Shlokya said it's not a valid chalitza if you gave her while she was pregnant and it turned out to be that it was a miscarriage. And Rabbi Yechon said, no, the chalitza is good. And if it turns out to be all right, then retrospectively, it was a good chalitza. And here we see that we don't give chalitza um, and we, um, till the, again, till three months expire. So the Gemara of Lamia Swin, Rabbi Yechon, he asked the question Rabbi Yechon once before. In fact, we said that this halach is lokish, lay me on a mitiav kyuta. Let's ask a question from here also to Rabbi Yechon. Can we like here, hocha in the time here, I can give you another reason altogether. You know what we're worried about by chalitza? 
Shema Yehei Vlad Ben Kayam, and maybe she will fall, or maybe she is pregnant and she will have a child. So what's the deal? Because Lucheda, when it comes to Chalitza, you know, who cares? What are we worried about? You give her Chalitza and it turned out to be her child, so Chalitza was nothing. And if it turned out to be that she, did, she didn't have a child, wasn't pregnant, then the Chalitza was valid. So what's wrong with giving her Chalitza and it turned out to be you didn't need to? You're not allowed to get married, but then being allowed to because you're doing an Isra in the trailer, but Chalitza, what's the problem? I guess I'll give you another reason. Shema Yehei Vlad Ben Kayam, maybe they has a child. And if the chalitza gave was not worth anything, what's the problem? But if it's, then a chalitza is not a marry a coin. But this woman can marry a coin. The people who saw their receive chalitza, then they see a man and a coin in the future, they'll start thinking that a chalitza can marry a coin. And if that's at the Matzicha Cruz, Lakuna, you'll have to make an announcement regarding Kuna that she's no longer a chalitza because she had a child. Then it's she must have built a big deal in its archa. So make that announcement. But worry, give me ikida have a chalitza la habi bachroz. We're worried that those people who are included in the chalitza, but they're not included in the hachroz, they won't be there by the announcement, they won't hear about it. Um if salum in a kuna, and we'll pass on kuna. So you might attain that. I understand. I'm on, okay, I understand the widow. We're worried that maybe um uh, well, a trial and, and, and all that we just said about marrying a, a coin. A mona can marry a coin, but if it turned out to be that she was a chalutza, then you can't. Okay. Or a grusha make a grusha divorcee anyway cannot marry coins. So what does she have to lose to give her the to give? Let's say that this the Reuben's wife was actually a divor- divorcee from some other marriage, so she's anyway forbidden to a coin. So why can't you give chalitza? When answer the mission because she gets money from the husband's estate. And uh, and by giving uh, by giving chalitza, she immediately ends her um, getting her sustenance. So you might say So if she was married to Reuben, then she's entitled to some sustenance. About Rusa, Gurusha Michael Neymar. If she was only engaged and divorced from an engagement, what are you going to say then? Well, Gurusha, what do you say then? They they don't have any. Why does Gurusha have to wait three months? There's no mezainus. We're divorcing getting mezainus. Another reason altogether, because of Rabbi Yaisi, the reason why we don't do chalitza. Time we learn. Can I give chalitza within three months? Do not give chalitza. Ask the Gemara, but chalitza mabakar. Give chalitza. What's the difference? If if it turns out to be just a child, chalitza says nothing happened, and it turned out to be that that there was no child, and chalitza is valid. Are you going to tell me that because of the problem of the coin? So let's say, why do you ask her also to vote? Um, um, a divorcee who anyways also took a So the Gemara, I'll tell you why. Another reason altogether, Kolo Mikra, he said the following passage, it says, Im lo yach, but if, the, if the brother no refuses to marry her, im chafetz yavam, but if he wants, he can marry her. So the rules are as follows. Kolo oilo le yibam, anybody that can get married, oilo le chalitza, can get chalitza. Because during these three months, they cannot get married. And because during these three months, they cannot get married. So therefore, we don't want to give chalitza. Now, the, the rule is you do give chalitza, even when we have so many cases of chalitza, even on this page itself. But here you have no choice. You can't do even, so let's give chalitza. Over here we're talking about you can wait for three months and then get to the proper chalitza, where you have a choice. Follow the Vereda. Moshe, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. a question. It says the following, never nice. It says, has fake is if somebody is doubtful whether she's engaged to rule or not. Chalitza is, and then Reuben dies. So from Shimon, they only get chalitza v'loy misyavnus. They do not get married. Now the question is: First of all, let's understand what this Bryce is saying. My speak, I mean, what's the doubt here? Elaim is talking to but we're not sure she's engaged to Reuben or not. Then why shouldn't Shimon marry a manushik? If she was married to Reuben, she's a mitzvah of Yivama. So he married a Yibam. So he married her. He didn't fulfill the mitzvah. And if she was never married to Reuben, so why can't he marry her? Anybody can marry her. So um so the condition of my limb is Yabba by getting married to Siabba Mikul, who cares? Ella Lava Mut, we're talking about Sufik, the Sufik E, this is the following what happened. She kid is Achiz Mishtech is with two sisters of Layroch, he gave condition to one of them, he doesn't know which one, so he cannot marry either one, because each one might be the sister of the one he got engaged to. And he doesn't make kiddish, you don't know which one. Uktani and Yod says, What do you do in this case if Reuben dies? He has to give Khalitza to both sisters. Um Uktani Khalitz gives us a Question is, since he cannot marry them, you just said he cannot marry. There's no chalitza. How come he give chalitza? So when I ask it back, what are you? What are you comparing the two? What are you comparing the two? Because <clears throat> you basically have a rule: anything which is not oil of the yibum is not oil of chalitza. These two sisters you can never marry. So how come you, you give them chalitza? And um, why don't we just wait until eighty come along and tell us what's going on? So the gemara hachi hash. What are you comparing? Awesome over there, in theory. If Elio came along and said, This is the woman that you got in college. If the Aiden came along and said, We remember you married, you know, you gave condition to Leah. Um, 
is Bas Khalitsa Bimi, then Leia would be able to marry this person and Khalitsa something else. Just you don't know. But uh, if somebody would have told you they would have known, everything would be all right. But however, um, over here, if somebody would come along, Yo will come along and say, she definitely is not pregnant, me, but it doesn't really matter. But you have Mila, you think you're allowed to then go ahead and marry her? Why not? Because of Tony in during the three months. You think if, if Eliel came during three months, that definitely she's not pregnant, you're allowed to? No, because the halach is even in the case where you know 100% that this woman does not have any children. Nevertheless, you have to wait three months. Of time, the young girl, the that she can never, she under 11, she can't fall pregnant. You gotta wait three months. So, <clears throat> yeah. So therefore, over there, it is over here, it's not even during the three months. Under no circumstances, you get married. Therefore, we don't give chalitzi wait till after the three months. Tell them we learned. Yibama, yibama, shloisha chadashim harishen in the first three months. While she is waiting, uh, because, um, she's waiting, her mind uh, design is she can get uh, sustenance from the husband's estate. And the reason for that is, the only reason why she's not getting married straight away is to, to continue the legacy of her husband and to make sure whether the child is her first husband or not. So she's doing it for the honor of her husband. So therefore, she's not able to take the mistake. Beyond three months, she doesn't get provided for not from the husband because why aren't you getting married right now? But that's with him. The brother in law, because he doesn't have any ties with her yet. What about Amr Bedin? She took the brother to the entire and said, You have to resolve one way or another, either Khalitsa Yibu, Ubarak, and he fled, that the Bezin will intervene, and the Zainis will show Yavu. She goes into the property and the, and the assets are taken away. What about Nafla Lifna Yavim Cotton? What about if she, let's say her brother in law is somebody who's very young, is me, uh, what happens then? And she's stuck. She can't get married. She has to wait to become a mitzvah. Can she at least during that time? And she's waiting. It's way beyond three months. Can she get sustenance from the father and the husband's property? So we say, from the Yavim, definitely she's not entitled to because beyond three months, it's not his fault. Or it's not his fault at all. But what about from the prospective brother in law? Sorry, the brother in law, Leslie, she's the other way around. Sorry. The Yavim, let's say, the boy under my mitzvah, the brother in law has no real ties, so why should he be obligated? What about the husband? The only reason why she's waiting around is to see whether she can continue the name of her husband. So maybe she's entitled to get from the husband's estate. One of them says yes. The Chadom and Lesla, one of them says no. The Hilchos and Alochi is Lesla. Alochi is she's not entitled. I she's stuck. She's in limbo. Mishmaya consumer. This has nothing to do with the with Reuven that passed away. The Abish of the trader puts her into this predicament. So therefore, the Abish will, will take care of her. Or um, the Gemara's expression is Mishmaya consua. That is Mishmaya Shemayim. That this is in, that she's in this predicament, and she cannot therefore claim take a claim on either one's asset. That's what we learned. Yevamah, Yevamah, Shechol Tzolo Achim. Um, that the brothers gave her chalitza within three months of the Reuven dying. She has to wait three months, not from when the chalitza was wait three months, from when Reuven died. From when Reuven died, they gave her chalitza after the three months expired. Because not wait three months anymore. Hi, uh, um, so the Gemara says. So what do we see clearly from here? That the three months that we say that you have to wait is Mishas Misa about not from when she receives Chalitza, but when Reuben passed away. We don't count the day that he died and the and the, and the day that this, but you, we, we uh, three months. And even the says it should be three months and three days. Those give an extra day. He says that's very logical. Places a few days ago. The lay Mishas Chalitza Zayavam, but not from the moment they got Chalitza. So, my Mishnah get, why is it different from my get? Because by get, we do say it's from the moment of the get that Avam and Mishas Nasinim, when she received the get, even though he intended to give her a get previously or even wrote the get, it's, it's, if you, you look at the time and he gave it, and, and they definitely didn't have relations before, it doesn't matter. Ushmulam Mishas Ksiva, when you wrote it, 
Amar Rav Rav says. The, the difference here is very simple. He says, Kalvachayim, Easter Kodis, living with your brother's wife is an Easter of Kodis. And yet, he tired to you matter straight away after three months that he can live with his wife. We're not worrying more about a child. And therefore, he can go ahead and live with her. And we're not worried. Oh, maybe there's still a chance that there's a child in the first one. And therefore, it's an Easter of Kodis living with her. No. Is Isa Lab like Koshkin? Surely, when it comes to an Isa Lab, to go out and marry other people by Chalitza. And now we're saying that she's free and she can go marry other people. Surely, we're not going to be Mach, but as soon as three months expire when Ruben's passing away, she is free to go and marry anyone outside of she wants. Okay, that finishes today's Gemara. Good jump to everyone.